Hello, you are welcome. How to evaluate 3 raised to the power of 12 minus 81 without making use of a calculator. So we have. Now we will rewrite this 3 raised to the power of 12 as 3 raised to the power of 6 times 2. Remember 6 times 2 is 12. Then we have minus 81 here. We can rewrite it as 9 raised to the power of 2. So the next thing we are going to do is to make use of this identity. If you have a raised to the power of n times m, this equals a raised to the power of n or raised to the power of m. So we are going to apply this identity right here. That means we will have 3 raised to the power of 6 or raised to the power of 2 minus 9 raised to the power of 2. Now, if you look at what we have here, we have 2 here and we have 2 here. So we can make use of difference of 2 squares. That means if you have a raised to the power of 2 minus b raised to the power of 2, this equals a plus b times a minus b. And in this case, a equals 3 raised to the power of 6 and b equals 9. So if we insert this, for a and b, we are going to have 3 raised to the power of 6 plus 9 times 3 raised to the power of 6 minus 9. So, the next thing we are going to do is to find the value of 3 raised to the power of 6. This simply means 3 into 6 places. And if you do that, we are going to have 7 to 9. So we are going to replace this with 7 to 9. So we are going to have 7 to 9 plus 9 times 7 to 9 minus 9. So if you add 7 to 9 plus 9, you are going to have 7, 3, 8. Then if you subtract 9 from 7 to 9, you are going to have 7, 20. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we can rewrite this 738 as the summation of 738 for ease of simplification. So you have 700 plus 38 times 700 plus 20. Now, the next thing we can do is we can say let x equals 700. Let's reduce the whole expression. So we are going to have x plus 38 times x plus 20. So the next thing we are going to do is to expand this bracket. We are going to have x squared plus 20x plus 38x plus, if you have 20 times 38, you simply have 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 2, you have 16. 3 times 0, you have 0. 3 times 2 is 6. So if you add, you are going to have 760. So this is 760. Now we are going to have x squared plus, if you add these two, you are going to have 58x and you have plus 760. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to replace or recall, recall that our x equals 700. So we are going to replace our x with 700. We are going to have 700 squared. Then we have plus 58 times 700 plus 760. So what is 700 squared? If you notice, 7 squared is simply 49. Then 100 squared, you have four zeros. So this is 490,000. Then you have plus 58 times 700. We can do that here. You have 700, then you have 58. 8 times 0, 0. 8 times 0, 0. Then you have 8 times 7, you simply have 56. So the next thing you are going to do is proceed to 5. 
5 times 0, 0, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 7 is 35. So you add, you have 0, 0, 6, then this is 10. You, you write 1, 0 and carry over 1 here. So this becomes 4,600. So this is, let me draw this out. So here we have 4,600. Then plus, what do we have here? 760. Now the next thing we are going to do is to sum up everything here. The first one is 490. 0, 0, 0, we have 4,600, 4,600, then we have 760. So let's add up these three values. We are going to have 0, 6, this is 13, 3 carry over 1, add here 1, this is 13 as well, 3 carry over 1, add here 5. So you have 5, 3, 1. 360. So this is our final answer. So we can go all the way to the problem and you can write here 531360. That is 531,360. So that is it for this video. Thank you and goodbye.